Hey everyone, it's Tatiana. I'm back with another craft video. A pop tab craft video, in case you didn't know. What am I gonna make it, you say? What? This awesome pop tab necklace, you betcha. Without keeping you waiting any longer, let's get to it. To get started, we're going to need some pop tabs, our pliers, and then two different sizes of jump rings. We have the smaller ones, which are six millimeter, and larger ones that are nine millimeter. This is the brand that I used, and I got them from a Hobby Lobby. To get started, we're gonna take our first pop tab. The thin side is always going to be down. Then we're going to take three more pop tabs and we're going to put them on top of the first one and then we're going to take our six millimeter jump rings and we're going to connect our right two and our left two to this first one. Next, we're going to add three more pop tabs on top of our first three, and then two additional ones on each side. For this, I'm going to use the bigger jump rings because at one point, I'm going to have to be connecting four pop tabs at once. Let me show you what I mean. So here's what it should look like so far. I have two bigger jump rings on each side here. Let me flip it over. I had to connect four of these pop tabs to this jump ring and four of these pop tabs to this jump ring. The last step is adding these two. We're going to be connecting these three pop tabs with one jump ring and these three with one jump ring and I am going to be using the smaller jump rings for this one. So if you guys have gotten to this step, congratulations. I know for some of you, this doesn't make any sense. For others, slowly but surely, it is making a little bit more sense. Next, we're gonna add another row of pop tabs. Alright, so I'm doing a mini version of this necklace. You can continue going out until it's one gigantic upside down triangle, but what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to add one more row. Let's do this. Now remember, for these two outside ones, I'm going to be using the smaller jump rings. Sweetness, so you think you are done with your necklace? Not quite. 
I took a look at this necklace and the only thing that is not secure is these two sides of um, the necklace. These two pop tabs, they're way too wiggly still, so we need to secure them with a jump ring. As you can see, I already secured this one. It looks way better and stays in place, so I'm going to do the same thing to these two pop tabs. And now you are done with this amazingly stunning pop tab necklace. So now the only question left is how are you going to wear it around your neck? You can use string, ribbon, hemp. I have a nice little chain that I'm actually going to use with mine. And the only thing to consider is if you're using a chain, um, depending on how you weave it through the pop tab, it might um, get a little bit out of place at the top with the pop tabs trying to form around your collarbone. If you want this necklace to be as straight as possible, you might take some silver wire and reinforce the top and then add two jump rings on the side and uh, connect your choice of string. Um, to go around your neck that way, so it'll keep it shape. For my necklace, I just simply added the chain through the two end pop tabs, so when it hangs around your neck, the two pop tabs are forced to come together, giving it that awesome look. Did you guys enjoy that craft video? I know, I can't take it either. Make sure to like it, comment, and I will see you next time.